Hello everyone and welcome to our next episode of Weather or Not, the Lightning Round. The game where we test the knowledge of our local meteorologists. I'm your host, Chris, a name without a face. Some may even say a voice from the clouds. It's time to get started, so grab your coffee and anemometers, because it's going to be a whirlwind of a game. On our last episode, you'll remember that it was a grueling battle between Jim and Kayla of oxygen. 21%. Or the mesophere. Ah! <laughs> I feel like you really need this. Or tumble. Ah! The scale for measuring the force of wind is called... Retrograding force. Scale. You said scale, not force. <laughs> Meters per second. <laughs> Miles per hour. <laughs> Kilometers. It's the Buford scale. Jim would be correct. <laughs> <laughs> Meters per second. <laughs> Miles per hour. Bridge <laughs> your gradient force. <laughs> if you all remember, Jim won that round with a score of 25. We thought we would give Kayla a shot at redemption. So please welcome back to the show, Kayla and Jim. Yay! Yay! That's it. I'm calling it. This is Kayla's redemption. It might be. We hope. It's been a day. It's been a week. <laughs> it's been a long week for me. So There's a it, this might be her day. No, I don't want to. I don't want to win because you lose. <laughs> is there any other way that you would win? Right. <laughs> I will read a series of questions. The first one to hit the buzzer and answers correctly will get the point. If you get it wrong, the next contestant gets a chance. Each question is worth one point. The contestant with the highest score at the end of 20 questions wins. Are you both ready? Ready. Born ready. That's what you said last game. Was it? I have to switch it up. I was not born ready, but I've become ready in the past six months, so. Alrighty. Question number one. Hands are really close to that buzzer. Oh, yeah, but you're a stickler for the rules. <laughs> Short bursts of high speed wind are termed what? Gusts. You are correct, Jim. Ah. We're starting off the same. Stop! She had a little bit of a run that last game. You just never know where Give it's it going to go. Give it a minute. I've got this. I've got this. Never Here know. We go. Question number two. What causes the Coriolis effect? The rotation of the Earth. Correct. You knew that one. I did. I saw it. You were I like, was going for it. I was going for I was like... You I, were waiting for, for her to you, say the rest of the things. I thought and, there was more to the question. There, that, there probably was. She was probably going to give us an A, B, C, or D. Jump the gun. I, I did. I did. I took a chance. Cheater. Took a chance. Question number three. Which statement is true concerning squall lines? A. They form slowly but move rapidly. B. They offer the most intense weather... <laughs> that one! No, no, A, no, no. A or B, that one. <laughs> All right, good job, Kayla. Moving Thank on you. to question number four. You sounded less enthusiastic when you said good job to me than you did for him. Is that a bias? Question number four. On average, 10 inches of snow melts down to about an inch of liquid rain. That would be true. Who said it was a true or false question? It sounded like a true or false question. You are correct. <laughs> Question number five. In 1714, who invented the first reliable... Galileo. No. No. Jim, Go ahead. finish the question. Finish the question. Who invented the first reliable thermometer? I, I don't know this one. Yeah, you're not going to help me. I know you're not going to help me. Look, the first reliable thermometer. Is it? It's a Galileo thermometer, is it not? Uh, Celsius. No. Fahrenheit? <laughs> it was Fahrenheit. What? Ah, I picked, it was like 50-50. <laughs> Fahrenheit or Celsius. I'm sorry, both of you are wrong. Moving on to number six. What is the characteristic of stable air? Poor visibility, intermittent precipitation, and cumulus clouds. B. Good visibility, steady precipitation, stratus clouds, or C, poor visibility. Ah! Jim? B. 
wrong. Oh. C. Correct. <laughs> so far, the score after six questions is Jim three and Kayla two. That was a turn of events. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were winning. <laughs> Moving on to question number seven. Which would decrease the stability of an air mass? A, cooling from below, B, decrease in water vapor, or C, warming from below? C, warming from below. Correct. I'm not left-handed. This is... I'm not right-handed. So we're both at a disadvantage. There you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. What? Is the eye and the eye wall of a hurricane? <coughs> Kayla? The middle with the strongest winds. The eye has no clouds. I'm waiting for. Mm, not what I'm looking oh, yeah, for. Yeah. How many details are you looking for? Let me. I'll go into the. <coughs> <You're> meteorologist. <coughs> meteorologist answer. Okay, so the eye. A bow tie. Check my bow tie. Okay, the eye, there's no clouds, there's sinking motion. The eye wall. Very fast moving clouds. Strongest winds of the hurricane are found in the eye wall. Um, <laughs> That's correct. Hey! It was my demonstration, wasn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> the circular eye or center of the hurricane? My first answer was the middle. I went into all that detail for nothing. <laughs> you just wanted to hear me babble. <laughs> Guys! Question number nine. What causes wind? A. Pressure gradient force! This is my time to shine! Was I right? <laughs> <laughs> what are you asking him if that's right for? Because if it doesn't say it on my paper, I don't know! <laughs> the pressure gradient force. Okay, we're gonna do this question now. Y'all are gonna listen to the multiple choices. No! I said pressure gradient force! What causes wind? A. The Earth's rotation. B. Air mass modification. Or C, pressure differences. Objection! C, <laughs> pressure difference. That is what I said! Ah! Correct. You can give it to her. <laughs> Question number 10. What's the difference between fog and mist? Mist is a precipitation type and fog is a cloud type. Kayla, you're correct! <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies for the winner tonight. <laughs> okay, so that means I'm not getting chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Question number 11. During this phase of the water cycle, water changes from a liquid state to a gas form. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> it's called evaporation. Correct. I, I'm, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Making this, gotta hold my lead here. Alright. All right. Question number 12. True or false? The cooler air wedges under the less dense, warmer air lifts it. True. Correct. Good job, Kayla. I'm on a roll. Call me butter today. What just happened over here? <laughs> I got a point. It's a rare occurrence. <laughs> Let me have my Not mother. today. <laughs> Question number 13. During the life cycle of See. a thunderstorm, which stage is characterized predominantly by downdrafts? Developing, maturing, or dissipating? Dissipating. Very good. Was C. <laughs> <laughs> that was a yes. Question number 14. What is a storm surge? A storm surge is when the water is lifted up in the ocean due to very low pressure and then the wind associated with that hurricane pushes that area of water on shore. Very good. Mm -hmm. oh, better words than I could have come up with. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the water, it goes that way. <laughs> <laughs> Question number 15. What is a tsunami? You got it. Okay. She got it this time. What is a tsunami? Extra points if you can spell it. <laughs> No. Um, <laughs> let's just go with the definition. A tsunami. <laughs> <laughs> the look on her face. Just... <laughs> I, for, I forgot what tsunami was. 
Want to go up? No. It's the Japanese steakhouse down the road. <laughs> you made me forget. Oh, my brain cells went to how to spell the word. The tsunami took away her definition of tsunami. Oh, gosh. What are the big words that describe it? The water. This is where the weather channel comes into it. I, mean, I need to watch the weather channel. Earthquake happen. Tectonic plates go. Psh, and then. Water go out. Water rise up. Water come back. You're laughing at me. <laughs> I'm trying not to look. I'm trying. No, I'm I trying. the definition. <laughs> you know, that was so entertaining. We're accepting your, your definition. Thank you. All right, so after 15 questions, with one that neither one of them got correctly, the score is Kayla, seven. Jim, seven. Hey. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. It's a battle. It's a battle. Do Let's I do this. redemption coming? I think we might. Here we go. I've got my acceptance speech. It's brewing. There's not many words involved, but there's a lot of hand motions. Question number 16. Which is true with respect to a high or low pressure system? A. A high pressure area or trough is an area descending air. B. A high pressure area or ridge is an area of descending air. B. You're correct. If you are one of those who have taken our school of weather courses, that sentence in question might sound a bit familiar. That's right. Where did they see that before? It's part of our topic called pressure systems. So if you guys haven't checked it out already, click the link down in the description box and it'll take you right on over there. Question number 17. To form golf ball sized hail, a storm's updraft must be 30 miles an hour, a hundred miles an hour, or seventy. <laughs> Golf ball size hail. Mm. I've always heard about hail of one hundred miles an hour, but I don't think it would take a hundred miles an hour to do golf ball size. Probably not. Softball size, definitely. So it'd either be seventy or one hundred, not thirty. Thirty, I don't think is is enough. It could be. Maybe sixty-five and a half. All right. I'm gonna go with seventy miles per hour. Correct. Well done, well done. I gotta win the next ones. I gotta be the weather ninja. Weather ninja. Question number 18. What are the six seasons? There's four. Not today. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Summer, spring, fall, winter, poultry, and everything but the bagel. <laughs> That's seasonings! <laughs> six seasons. No, I've never heard of, this, of six seasons. What is it? Monsoon and pre vernal season. Oh, we'll throw that one away. Ready? Mm -hmm. What does that look for? I don't know. Why was she pointing at you? I don't know. That means I need to be ready. <laughs> Question number 18 What scientific apparatus hit it, hit it. <laughs> measures. Was that even a word? <laughs> what just happened? It was Those, right whatever it was. At least 14 M's in that word. <laughs> <laughs> like you had peanut butter in your mouth. What was that? It was, was a point, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, you made a point all right. <laughs> Question number 19. The zone where a cold air mass is replacing a warm... Uh, <laughs> Cold air mass is replacing a warm air mass. That is a cold front or polar front. Is that what you're looking for? Yes, sir. To cold frontal zone. You asked what zone. Technicality. The last question. Are you both ready? I don't think so. The energy in an average blank could power the United States for three years. A lightning bolt. No. Three years, you said? That'd be a big lightning bolt. It's either a tornado or a hurricane. Oh. I'll say a hurricane. Yes. Yes. That is correct. Oh. All right, that was our last question. Are you guys ready to see who's the winner? Yes. Did Kayla redeem herself? I have my acceptance speech ready. I'm ready for everybody who has ever believed in me. I'll save it. Well, we all believe in you, Kayla. But unfortunately, 
with a score of eight, you did not beat Jim's score of 11. Woohoo! You are again the winner of whether or not the lightning round. Yay! Good sportsmanship and all that. There you go. There Thank you, you for a on. game well played. It was, a, it was an excellent game. Thank you. Thank you. Was. Gone online. <laughs> Since you are the victor, I've gotten you this here trophy. I love it. It has nothing to do with weather. It's my stuffed animal. That's right. It was one of one of her stuffed animals when you were very, very little. And you've had it for all these years. Brought it to you with college. Sometimes I would fly to Europe and would find this in my uh, backpack halfway through the plane ride. You know, I don't, I don't know how to get this. So Panda has um, a mind of his own. He's been all over the world. Panda has been all over the world, and today, this week, he now goes with you to your office. Ah, oh, so. thank you, thank you, thank you. I have to win him back eventually. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for joining us on this episode of Whether or Not the Lightning Round. Stay tuned, because I'm sure in the future, we will have another battle between Jim and Kayla. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that round two of whether or not, again, I lost. But, you know, there's always next time. Check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram. It's a great time. Check out our website and, again, the School of Weather, which is linked down below. If you like what you saw, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you never miss another Meteorology Monday. Until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Jim. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you at the next Meteorology Monday. Part of our topic called pressure systems. Exactly. <laughs> pressure systems. I, I, I don't know where that came out of. My throat's drying out, and I was like, pressure systems. <laughs>